regulatory body will be important because you are creating a new institution, new framework. Uh, for, for, for all uh, uh, types of regulatory body, one of the fundamental things you do, the right institution versus wrong institutions. You, uh, you claim to be a social business, but the way you designed it, uh, it's not really a social business. So somebody, a regulatory body will uh, give you a certification that yes, you are properly done. And then continue to monitor you, that whether you uh, do it in the right way or the wrong way. Uh, like we have regulatory body for uh, anybody who sells food items, whether you're selling it the right food, is healthier, is, is, is contaminated, or so, that's a regulatory body's job. And if you're running a restaurant, if you're running a hotel, there's a regulatory body who comes and checks you and certifies you that you are performing all the functions properly. Similarly, if you're running a social business, somebody will have to certify you, yes, you're on the right track, your calculations are right, your estimate, your uh, accounting is right, so that you know people are, uh, your business is transparent after all, people are investing in your thing. So there'll be rating agency, there'll be auditing firm, uh, there'll be regulatory authority, there'll be uh, business standards, um, international standards, and so on and so forth. So these are the things which will have to emerge as you go into that business like um, this. Uh, there'll be local regulatory body, there'll be international regulatory body because there's a lot of social business which will be multinational social business. Now we are, the moment we talk about globalization, uh, everybody talks about the uh, fear of multinationals coming and taking over our business and destroying our economy, destroying our livelihood. Yes, because they're powerful. Nobody's there to combat them. Nobody's there to uh, kind of stand in front of them. They look, you can't do such thing. Um, so they go wherever they want. And um, their governments and everybody is supportive of them because they bring so much money for them. Uh, so if you accept the social business concept, uh, gradually we'll have uh, multinational uh, social business who will be uh, standing uh, next to the uh, profit maximizing harmful social businesses look you can't do that uh, we will take it over then they go and uh, start the business on their own trying to protect the interest of the poor businesses poor weak economies uh, because they are dedicated to help uh, retain the um, businesses and retain the culture and art and um, economy of the country so they will be creating those multinational companies where we'll go and uh, protect the interest of the local people and the local uh, economic interest. So that way, uh, this kind of thing has to emerge uh, in the uh, context of the global economy. Uh, they will have uh, the, the multinational uh, social businesses will have their policy recommendations about how to uh, make uh, these things work in a globalization context. So that will be benefiting from their existence.